Hey, what up, superstars? It's your boy, Bet on Me, with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, got another great video for you guys today. Man, that was a blast from the past. That is exactly how I used to open up my videos back in the day, and it used to drive people crazy with that music. And I mean, it'll drive them crazy. Most people will love it, but some people will hate it. Now, since Stasis have been nerfed, this is the Titan PvP build I'm going to be using for the remainder of the season. So down below, guys, let me know after you see this video, do you feel this is the best PvP Titan build? And after we go over this build, then I'm going to finish up with the remainder of the gameplay. So right before we get into it, if you guys do like great Destiny 2 builds for both PvP and PvE, do me a favor and like this video, then hit that sub and notification bell because it'll definitely help support the channel. Now, now the goal of this build is to have explosive fast paced gameplay so i'm going with middle tree striker titan code of the missile and with the code of the missile it has a great trait called ballistic slam after sprinting leap into the air and then you press r1 to slam into the ground and damage nearby targets and shortly i'm gonna give you guys an exotic that will help us chain that damage to kill nearby enemies and when you use that ballistic slam it triggers the perk impact conversions hitting targets with ballistic slam grants super energy and also it activates something called inertia override now with inertia override picking up ammo during a slide reloads your equipped weapon and increased weapon damage for a short duration so it's like having a little short duration of a mini rampage and it has the super thunder crash so you hurl through the air like a missile and crash into enemies to inflict a lot of damage and what i love about it with the exotic you could get so many double and triple kills it's kind of crazy and i'm sure some of you have seen this build before but there are so many new players and destiny they have no clue about this build then you want to use the flashbang grenades okay because an explosive grenade it disorients enemy and they take damage so they can't see so i'll throw that and then i run and jump in the air hit that ballistic slam you'll kill so many people they're blinded and it really frustrates the enemy and you want to pair the subclass with the exotic leg or maduna marchers or doing marches however you want to see it now zero was selling this last week so if you did not buy this you missed out on one of the top exotics in the game now it has the trait linear actuators increase sprint speed now sprinting builds up a static charge and after melee attacking an enemy that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies and this is deadly in both pvp and pve so next time it come around you better get your hands on it now to help with our invincibility we're going to use the air apparent machine gun this is good for clearing out zones now it has the trait heavy slug thrower so you press l2 it spins up the weapons and then this weapon can be fired only when spun up and then it has the trait arm of the colossus while at full health spinning up this weapon protects you with an arc shield and then with its catalyst it just becomes a monster because it increases the arc shield durability and partially reloads the magazine if it gets destroyed now you were able to get the air parent and the catalyst last season during guardian games uh so i don't even know can you get it in destiny 2 right now but if you can i will look it up and then if you can get it i will make a video on how to do it and then here are the mods we're going to be using and you could get these from any of the vendors at the tower now shield break charge become charged with light by breaking a combatant shield with the matching energy type so some of you new players may be asking what is charge with light well while you're charged with light you gain significant damage resistance against combatant when your shield is destroyed and this effect consumes all the stacks of charge with light however there are mods that could give you multiple stacks of charge with light which when you consume it the longer the damage resistant lasts and we're also using the mod taking charge become charged with light by picking up orbs of power and then you got to have the high energy fire mod because while charged with light you gain bonus to weapon damage and each defeated combatant consumes one stack of your charge with light and also a good one is powerful friends when you become charged with light nearby enemies also become charged with light if they're not already and if you have another arc mod sock it into this piece of armor you could gain 20 mobility and lastly we're using the invigoration mod because reduce melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power all right guys so here's my full build and in the future i'm gonna be looking for some uh gear with some strength added to it so i could get my melee cooldown faster all right guys so let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay and down below let me know what do you guys think about this build and also what is your favorite build so far for the season zone c captured enemy claimed zone a this is amazing Down. 
Zone C lost. That shut them down. Double down. Together as one. I love it. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Double down. Captured Zone C. That's a power play. You took them, now hold them. Zone A lost. Zone B lost. Two for one. Strength, Titan. I've seen enough. I'm calling this friends. I need more like you. 